see if everything is working here um i think everything should be up right now gotta post my stream link as well uh, there you go all right so i'll just wait for some people to join the stream as we wait here for um oh wait it's already starting wait never mind no that was okay well no one's here just quite yet as i am waiting for everybody to join the stream or if there's even anyone here um i think i start also a little bit late I'm not too sure though but at the moment i'm just waiting for to be blown and yeah i'll just wait till people slide or join the stream all right why is there so much people with team ofn bro all right anyways this game is starting i think there's already a delay of game here as this will be with spark code returning the kickoff i don't know if he's logging or if it's just me but it's a plus five after this as a pretty good return here and he'll be down at the 32 yard line or technically the 37 because it was a plus five but let's see if anyone's here i don't said i don't think anybody's here at the moment but um oh wait there's also a pov stream so i think people would rather just watch that than my stream if i'm gonna be kind of honest but it's up to them as we wait for this game to start i don't really know what the wait is here to be honest with you but we'll just have to see all right so we spark going it's gonna start this game with a mid run and you'll have a two yard gain and speaking about Reese Sparkle, um pretty good quarterback this season for the destroyers leading him to six and two as as you can see right now um his stats for the regular season pretty good regular season only throwing seven interceptions and 44 touchdowns and like i said he led his team to six and two so it's a pretty good quarterback and this team is pretty good so I have no doubt that they're going to do good tonight. And hopefully he has a good game here. As we sparkled through a overthrown pass at last play. But he's going to roll back here. No pressure at all. Has a lot of time but there is a flag once again. But he's going to throw it here. And that will be a catch for now by LV. And LV will get the catch and the first down. But there is a DVLOS on the Huskies. But that doesn't matter because they still got the first down. So I'm pretty sure... The destroyers will decline that. And what's uh thank you, Eagle, for um the 20 bits. I appreciate it. As we, we sparkle, it's gonna roll to the right. Been blocking here so far by the destroyers. And has all the time in the world once again. An open receiver, but unfortunately he overthrew him. As now it will be second and ten once again. But thanks, Eagle, for the 20 bits. Appreciate it a lot. Thanks for giving me those free bits i guess but appreciate it oh and thank you once again for the 100 bits much love to you man appreciate it a lot as we wait for resparkle to line up here and snap the ball again as now will be second and 10 here for them it's gonna roll to the right oh my god i'm lagging like hell oh no my wi-fi <laughs> he's gonna throw it here but that'll be overthrown just by a tad bit. Thank God this is only the wild card. I'm I'm happy as hell this isn't like uh, a conference championship game or a victory bowl because I am getting a little lag spikes here. So if you do see any lag spikes, um, I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi or if it's just my computer, but uh, I do apologize. I rarely get any um lag spikes or anything. So this is kind of rare to be honest with you. As I'll be a catch or end the touchdown. For War 4K. And thank you Eagle once again. For subscribing. As I also do have to give you a VIP. Because I always give all my subs a VIP. So I appreciate it a lot. Much love to you man. As, what an amazing pass there by Resparkle, Resparkled. As now the Destroyers. They're going to take the 7-0 lead. In this ball game. A pretty good start here for them. And yeah overall just a good drive there by Resparkled and the whole Destroyers team. As now the Huskies have a chance to answer back here. Down by 7. I mean this is not really anything rare. Because a lot of people score on the first drive. 
where whoever gets the ball for first normally scores. I never seen someone get a stop on the first drive of the game, so it's nothing really special or new. As now the Huskies, they have the chance to answer back. They play decent defense there, but just overall better offense by the Destroyers as this ball is now up in the air. Can I mute uh, Sinzu and VIP or something? Oh, you can't. Yeah, you can't. The only way you can do that is if you get mod. Uh, normally, I don't give anybody mod because I, in reality, I really don't need any. So, I just decide to give it to... um. I actually don't decide to give it to anyone. I just give it to... Actually, no. I don't even think I have a single uh, mod in this stream. As Miles will be the one lining up here for the Huskies tonight. And he's going to start off with a mid-run here. Like Resparkle did. And get an 8-yard gain. And as you can see here. In, on the screen once again. Here are Miles' stats for the regular season. 38 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. It's not the highest we've seen stats wise he's around he's below average stat wise but i believe that it's just because um he started a little bit late as i'll be a catcher by blonde and blonde might take it all the way and he does so just like that the huskies answer back in under two plays and now this is a one point game once again what a play there and what a start here for the huskies tying it or only making it a one point game Pretty quickly. And sorry if I sound tired. I did just wake up from a nap. But there is a flag here. And it is a dead play. So it doesn't really matter anyways. As at the moment it will be a false start. So this will be a redo of the kick. And it's going to be at the 50 yard line. Instead of the uh, 40. Or actually the 30. So this is a little bit farther. But it's not really that difficult to kick a PAT as long as the sack yeah there you go and the PAT is no good he missed it it oh no he missed the PAT uh because the field goal is good thing didn't pop up so that was just a tad bit high for miles there as now it will only be a one point game so far and that one point will more than likely could possibly change the whole game as every single point matters in the playoffs because normally a lot of the games in the playoffs are shootouts. So I'm not really going to be surprised if the Huskies lose by like one or two points. As that is just the natural thing if you are down a couple possessions in the playoffs. As this will be Max returning the kickoff here. Pretty bad kick there by Miles. I don't know what happened there. And the lateral pass to Worry. And Worry is going to be at the 35 yard line. And he'll be down at the 39. So both teams had a good start here. But the Shores they still keep their one point lead. As you now have the chance to extend it to possibly an 8 or 9 point game. As they are also going to move up 5 yards again. You have your sparkle stats? If you have, yeah, here you go. I showed it earlier, but I don't think anyone, uh... I don't think anyone saw it because it was a little bit early in the stream. As you're sparkled, it's going to roll back here. Pressure's here though, going to throw a bomb here! A little overthrown! Oh, that was just a tad bit overthrown! He was wide open too, which was the crazier part. That was real. That was actually pretty close. I'm not going to lie. Pretty close call there. For Resparkled and the Destroyers as now. This will be once again. Uh, second and ten for Resparkled. As he's going to roll to the left here. No pressure at all once again. Now the pressure's here, but good job here by his center. I think that's G post, yeah, G post. And he's gonna take the out uh, out run, which is a pretty smart choice. Gonna get the first down and more. And he'll finally be down at the 40 yard line. 15 yard gain there, so good drive here so far by the Deshures. Yeah, they did miss that wide open touchdown, but I mean it is what it is. At least they still scored. And once again, thank you, Eagle, for that sub. I really do appreciate it. Much love to you. Hopefully you're enjoying tonight's stream. And once again, I apologize if I sound tired. But your sparkle is going to roll back. Pressure's here once again. And that is just a chimney pass. That was, I don't even know what pass that was. That was absolutely nobody. I think that was just a throwaway, I think. I don't know what that was from your sparkle. But um, now it will be 30 and 10 here for him and the destroyer. So I really don't know. Thank you to the 31 people tuning in. 
Hopefully you're having a good Saturday night. Oh, if it was boring. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The games are kind of long. As that's a good catch there by Wari. But yeah, the games are pretty long. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, Yeah, they could be boring at some times. Especially when it's not like a crazy game. Not that much people tend to watch it as... I mean, it is what it is, though. As your spark was going to take the mid-run. So on his feet, and he'll finally be down. Seven-yard gain. As now it'll be second and three here for the Destroyers. At the uh, seven-yard line. So they actually have a good chance here to score again. As your spark was going to roll to the left. Going to throw it here. And the touchdown once again for Wari. His second touchdown of the game. And now, the Destroyers, they take once again a 7-point lead. So, good drive. And once again, another touchdown for um, Warrior 4K and the Destroyers. And with Sparkled, he's going to hit the PAT. So, thankfully, he, he hit that that time. Didn't have the same outcome as the Huskies. But, so now be an 8-point game. Huskies still have a chance to actually tie this game up. But very early into the game, they are down by 8. So it's going to be pretty uh, risky for them to go for 2. And like I said, like a good 5 minutes ago, every single uh, point matters in the playoffs. They have really no choice. They have to play it careful. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, you could lose by a point because you miss a PAT. Because, I mean, it's not that difficult to score in this league. A lot of people score very easily, which is why you have high-scoring games, so... You never know, as this will be Danny returning the kickoff here. Gonna be down at least at the 20, so good return by him. So on his feet, to finally be taken down at the 35, so good kick return by him. And a good start here for the Huskies. They drive looking to at least make this only like a one or two point game again. Or maybe even tie this game up. The good games are fun to watch, just repetitive. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I didn't really stream that much, um... In the regular season because i'm not to be honest with you i don't want to sound like an ego but i really don't like streaming regular season games like the only games that would be fun to watch is like the prime time games or the very big games and normally a lot of them are in the playoffs so that's why i got active just like a couple days ago for the playoffs i wasn't even streaming at all during the regular season because i'm not gonna lie i kind of find it boring it's not as good as the playoffs obviously because I mean, the playoffs are the playoffs, so it's always going to be good. As Miles is going to roll back. No pressure here once again. Might have an open receiver, and he does. Throws it here, and a touchdown. And once again, the Huskies, they score in under like three plays. Back-to-back -back drives where they scored under five plays. And now this will be a, a two-point game. And hopefully the Huskies this time can actually... Convert their PATs or two-point conversions, so. By the looks of it, they're going to line up to go for one. And this time, it will be good, so. It's going to uh, be 13 or 14 now. Good choice by them. They're playing it safe. I mean, yeah, they're only... They're still down by one, but I mean... Hey, it's better to be down by one than eight. It's always better to for the lead to be closer than farther, so. I can't really complain. And like I said, it's only the first quarter, so. And this game is still... Uh, uh, grab, or I don't know what I'm saying. This game is still up for reach. I don't know what happened five seconds ago, but yeah, this is still up for reach. So even if the, the, the Destroyers score, we're still only going to be up by eight. So the Huskies can really just tie it up if they really need to. As now this kickoff is up in the air. And once again, this will be Resparkled returning the kickoff. As he's going to get a pretty good blocking here. Going to be down... At the 26-yard line. So, good job by him. And maybe he can extend this lead once again. This might be the last drive of the first quarter. Unless, you know, at least, or if they don't screw anything up. This will definitely be the last drive of the quarter. As there's only a minute and 30 remaining here. As he sparkled, he's going to roll to the right. Still looking for someone. Good blocking here so far, though. But he's backed up to his own end zone. But going to throw... A bomb here, that'll be intercepted! Oh, I don't know why Mish spawned the ball, but Blonde will be the one intercepting that. And I don't know why Mish spawned that uh, ball. I don't know why he did that. I think that was just a accident. 
Well, that was a pretty bad pass there by Resparkled. I think that was just a force. I mean, Warrior, was, he was open a tad bit, but I mean, it was still close enough for, um, I think Danny to get the interception or Blonde to get the interception. So, good stop here by the Huskies. And like I said, every drive and every point matters. So now the Huskies, they have a chance to take the lead and take the momentum up because uh, the Shurs, they, I think they got the ball for, yeah, they got the ball. So that means the Huskies, they're going to get the ball for the second half. And this drive, this coming drive will definitely matter a lot. As Miles will finally be down. And that would be a second and two here at the 39 yard line. And let's see how many people are team though event. Oh my god, I have so many. I could have so many viewers right now. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but Miles is gonna roll to the right. Still looking for somebody. He's gonna take the run instead, and he'll get the first down. Good choice by him. Definitely the smart one, as that'll be a 9-yard gain for Miles. So a good start here so far. And honestly, both these teams are doing pretty good. Definitely like how they're both doing. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good by both teams. As now, that would be a flag there. I, don't, I wasn't even looking at it. I was looking at my phone. I think that was a false start i'm not too sure though but yeah i'm not too sure but it will be first and 20 don't know who the false start was on my bad i was looking at my phone again as miles it's gonna roll back once again still looking for some there's a bomb here once again and that will be a good job there by the defender Good job by him for jamming his receiver and not allowing anything. Pretty smart choice by him. As now, it will be second and 20 here for the Huskies. Miles is going to roll back. Still looking for someone. No pressure at all. Has an open receiver again. And that will be Corson for the touchdown. That will be his second one of the game. And it's only the first quarter. And just like that, the Huskies, they take the lead. They got their stop that they needed. And they now have the momentum that they need. As now, this will be a five-point game. And they can go for two here and possibly make this a seven-point game. But what a start here by the Huskies. And there's another flag as that PAT will, PAT will be good. But that'll be a legal stack, and I'm pretty sure they're just gonna decline it. So yeah, they are gonna take their one point. And now this will be once again a six-point game. And smart choice here by the Huskies for playing it smart and not going for two. I definitely would not want to risk that in these types of games, as now they're gonna have the six-point lead here. Hopefully your sparkle can bounce back and maybe get a better drive. But at the moment, he still has a long way to go. Same with the Huskies. Only the first quarter, and it's already 20 to 14. If this keeps on keeping up, we might see like a 50, 60 point game here. You never know, but at the moment, Miles will be the one kicking it here, and once again, Resparkled will be the one returning the kickoff. As this might be the last play of the first quarter, as he has a pretty good blocking lane here. Gonna have a big kickoff return, and he does, and that's the end of the quarter. So the Destroyers will go into the um second quarter with a pretty good start at the 40-yard line. And a good start overall, as now they have a chance to redeem themselves here. Or re redeem themselves. And hopefully, maybe, do a little bit better this drive. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to another interception. As now, first and ten here. Might be a lag warning on uh, Miles, but they decide not to call it. As he's still looking for someone. Might have an open receiver. And he doesn't. Oh, now he throws a bomb here once again. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my God. What a catch there. Don't know who catch that. I think that was Max with the catch. But, oh, my goodness. What a monster. Honestly, thought that was overthrown. But, damn, what a pass. <laughs> what a catch there once again. It's not the Destroyers. They have the chance again 
to tie this game up. And just like that, with their backs against the walls, they're about to score, have the chance to score. As instead, that will be a sack there by Harry Christopher, a pretty good supporter of mine. Much love to Harry. I'm glad to see him doing good in this game. As now, it will be second and goal instead at the 11-yard uh, line. As we sparkled, so looking for someone, and that will be out of bounds, unfortunately. So now it will be third and goal here. As now, the uh, Destroyers only have two more tries here to score. So a little bit settled down here for the Destroyers. Pretty big momentum catch here two plays ago, but it's kind of settled down. But hopefully they can still score here. As now, Respark was going to roll to the left. Pressure's there immediately. As he's still looking for someone. Pretty hard to um, score in the end zone. As he tries to pump fake the ball, and he does. Throws it here. And that will be... Oh, that's, a, that's in. That should be a touchdown. And it is. And the Destroyers, they score once again. And now this game is all tied up, 20 to 20. Amazing job there by Micah for uh, keeping the ball in bounds. And what a dime there by Resparkle as well. That was just a perfect pass. Can't really do anything about that. It's not Resparkle. He's going to go for the PAT. And this PAT will, will be good. So now the, um, the Shores, they take the one point lead once again. So. Despite that interception, uh, their last drive, they still were able to take the lead. So now this is a one-point game instead of probably a eight or nine-point game. As now the Shores, good redemption by them. And what a catch there by Micah, as you can see. That's just perfect. Yeah, that's just perfect catching, to be honest with you. You can't really do anything about that. And just a perfect pass as well. As this will be Miles, the one returning the kickoff. And this will be another flag. A lot of flags here this game. And also very early into the game as well. Pretty unexpected. But, I mean, it is what it is. Flags are just a part of the game. So it makes sense. But As now, this will be... Uh, I think there's a flag once again, like I said. But I think it's too many men on the um, Huskies. So... Give me one sec. All right, my bad. I, I'll just uh, finish texting that person later. As Miles will go for the run and the four yard gain. All right, my bad. As Miles will go for the un uh, the other run or another run, and he'll be just a little bit short. As now it will be third and inches here for the Huskies. Looking to score again and hopefully get their lead back. As it's pretty smart as well for the Huskies to um waste a clock. And what's up? <laughs> these nuts thank you for tuning in i'm doing good hopefully you're doing good as well but how are you as well and thank you for the follow i appreciate it as miles would throw it here to miss drew and he'll get the catch and the 18 yard gain so now that will be another first down there for the huskies they're just gonna waste the clock a little bit more and i'm glad to hear that hopefully you're uh, you enjoy this uh stream this is just a Roblox football game. Well, it is a playoffs, but hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, thank you for uh, tuning in. I really do appreciate it. It's now going to be first and 10 here for the Huskies. Going to roll to the right. Still looking for someone. Throws it here finally, and that'll be just a tap it overthrown. Almost an interception as well, but it is what it is as we wait once again. For Miles to snap the ball. Hold up. Give me one second. I just have to check something. Really quick. Alright. Second and ten here. 
for the Huskies. All right, Miles finally snaps the ball. Gonna roll to the left. Still looking for someone. That might be a sack, and it is by Micah. And that will be a 10 yard loss instead of a gain. As now the uh, Huskies will move back all the way to their own uh, 32 yard line. As now this will be third and 20 here. And hopefully the Huskies can at least get a first down here. Hopefully. Maybe not, but. Third and 20. Miles still looking for someone. Gonna throw a bomb here once again. And that will be a catch by Danny once again. And he'll be down and that'll be a 53 yard gain. So good job there by him. And now the Huskies, they have a chance once again to score. They're going to be at the 13 yard line. So pretty sure they're just going to waste this clock once again. I don't even know where Miles is, but it's going to waste the clock. Hopefully it will. Actually, no, I don't think he did. I'm not too sure why the clock's not running, but uh, Miles is going to roll. Might be another sack here. Said good job there for escaping the pressure. Uh, how can I join? Uh, hold up. Give me one second. As that will be a touchdown. And now the Huskies, they take the lead once again. Um, if you want to join, it is on Roblox, obviously. But if you want to join, here is the, um, there is the group link. Just make sure to join that. Actually, no. I don't even think I have it in there. Uh, just join this. It's their Discord. You can join that if you want as... It will give you all the directions as that PAT will be good. Sorry for hi uh, not hiding that. But now the Huskies, they take the 20 of uh, the six point lead once again. And um, I don't know if I can unlock the server. I don't have any mod or I don't have admin. So I, I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I can. But if you want to join the league, go ahead. They're always looking for new players. Um, If you have any experience in Football Fusion or if you ever played... A Roblox football game. It's pretty uh, similar, uh, familiar or similar, however you want to say it. And um, I think you'll be perfectly fine. But the Destroyers, they get the ball back with 2 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Looking to score again. And hopefully tie this game up before halftime. As I have no doubt that they're going to try to waste the clock here. And uh, that's... That's my own personal Discord, but I mean, I don't really use it because, um, yeah, I don't really use it. There's no point in it, so. Thank you, Red Lean, for the follow. Much love to you. A very, very good wide receiver in OFL. Hopefully you enjoyed tonight's stream, as that will be only a one-yard gain. Good job there by Miss Drew for only allowing a one-yard gain. As now there will be two minutes and 16 seconds remaining. They might just run this to the two minute warning, as I have no doubt that they will, but and oh yeah, thank you also D's for the uh follow. I don't I'm not too sure if I said that already, but much love to you guys. Appreciate it a lot as we're now at uh six hundred and ten followers. Not bad, as I haven't been streaming for a long time, so we're almost there, just a couple hundreds left till I hit a thousand. Maybe soon I'll get it, but at the moment Sparkle is going to uh, hike it before the two-minute warning. And he's going to throw it there. It's a little inaccurate. Kind of makes sense because the pressure was there. As now, it will be third and nine. And that will be the two-minute warning. So, a minute and 57 re remaining here. Before this game is over. Or this game heads into the second half. As now, Sparkle has a chance. To possibly take their lead again. They definitely do want to score here. Because the Huskies do get the ball. For the second half. So they definitely do want to score here. If they don't. Then that might be the game. You never know. But you sparkled. Still looking for someone. Finally going to throw it here to Micah. Wide open. And he's just going to stand there. The smart choice by him. As now this will be a minute and 38 remaining.
All right, my apologies. I was just looking at something once again. Sorry for not talking a lot. My mom keeps on texting me, but he sparkled. He's gonna roll to the left. Gonna take the run once again. And he'll finally be down, but I think he'll be out of bounds. Actually, no, I'm not too sure. That, not, that might not be out of bounds, but at the moment, he's second and two here for the Destroyers. All right, second and two here. Waiting for them to snap the ball. I don't know what the weight is here, but um, yeah, I'm really not too sure. As we sparkle, it's going to roll to the left again. Good job there for not allowing the run. Might be a toss up here to Max. He might have him, decides not to give it to him. Gives it to Warrior instead, and he'll be down. That'll be a 10 yard gain. You can't join because I forgot to log in. Well, make sure you log in and I think it will work then. But um, to be honest with you, I really don't know if you can't log in. I mean, maybe make a new account or something. But that's really the only way you can join. Because obviously you can join the Roblox group. But mainly all the stuff there. Mainly everything happens in that Discord. So definitely want to make sure to join that. Actually sparkled. Gonna go for the mid run again. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't blame you. I kind of forget some stuff, too. I definitely do not. I definitely do forget some stuff time after time. So I can't really blame you. I mean, everyone I'm pretty sure does. But nothing wrong with it. As we spark, what's going to roll to the right? Might be another outrun. And it will be. And he'll get the first down. And he'll finally be down again at the 30 with 51 seconds remaining. So good job there once again. As now the Destroyers. They're going to be at the 30-yard line. Looking to score once again. Well, I'm not going to lie to Urix. Um, The reason why I don't have a lot of viewers compared to last time is because um, there is a POV stream going on from Bubba Boy. So, and he has 60 viewers right now. So, he's literally, he's literally stealing all my viewers. Um, I don't even know why the league allows this. Because, um, yeah, I, I really... I really don't know why, but, I mean, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, if he wants to POV stream, he can if he wants, but he's mainly stealing all my viewers. I'm not going to lie. I might just end the stream because if he, if everyone's just going to go watch him, then, I mean, I have no problem with it. I could just end the stream right now and go back to bed because I feel like garbage right now. But, hey, I just got to do what I got to do to get paid, so... As now Sparkle is going to go for the mid-run. And once again, that should be a first down. And, I mean, I don't know. Wait, what is FF2? Are you talking about Football Fusion? Or, and it was a Yoris guy. Um, he's just, I mean, he's a frequent uh, viewer and chatter. Um, he mainly watches my streams a lot. So, no need to get mad at him. Uh, I don't know if he's a support, supporter or not. Honestly, I really don't care if he isn't or if he is. Or, well, I do care if he is, but... I appreciate it, but if he doesn't like me, I mean, it is what it is. I don't really mind it. As we sparkled, gonna still look for someone. Gonna throw it here to Brazilian. And Brazilian will get the touchdown. Sorry there for lagging a little. Um, I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Uh, that might be something with my Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, yeah, it must be something with my Wi-Fi. Hopefully no one's trying to hit me offline, because... If you are, I don't know. It's do a little bit better, but uh, yeah, good job there by the destroyers. As now this will be a tied game once again. And they're gonna go for two this time, so this is a pretty risky chance here. And instead, that will be overthrown. So they're just gonna keep this as a tie. Should have just went for one and played it safe, but instead they want to go for uh two there, and now this will only be tied. So now the Huskies. They have enough time to possibly get a Hail Mary. And then they start off with the ball for the second half. So they might maybe get away with this game. As if they don't score here, obviously. They're probably going to score on the start of the third quarter. So this will matter a lot. But you could still get a toss-up in 11 seconds. That is way, that is enough amount of time to really do anything. 
as that kickoff will be perfect and that will be just be a touchback i i guess he's just gonna yeah he's gonna go for the touchback as now it will be first and ten here once again for the huskies looking to score here before the second half hopefully they can i'm not too sure but at the moment we'll just have to see as they are going to go for the screen pass here pretty smart choice but he's only going to get a three yard gain to be honest with you you can get a hail mary away even with nine seconds left and also being at the 25 yard line or the 23 wherever as you just need good blocking so really all you just need to get a hail mary as now it will be second and seven here and miles is gonna go for the run i don't know why the clock wasn't running um <laughs> i think you should deduct maybe like two or seconds two seconds maybe two or three seconds i don't know why he didn't but i think there should be enough room to get a hail mary i mean like i said all you just need is good blockers so i mean that's all you really need for a hail mary All right, so as we just wait for him to review the clock, sorry guys for the wait, I do apologize. As it is, just is what it is. And sorry for sounding a little bit tired. I am kind of tired right now because I don't really feel the best. But I mean, hey, it is the playoffs. I have to try my best. As instead, that will not even work. I don't even know why he did that. They should have just went for the Hail Mary. As now that will be the end of this first half. We're going to head into the second half. And it's going to be a tight game here, so a pretty good game here so far. I'm not going to lie. A very, very good game here. And that might be a second left, so... Not too sure. Actually, no, never mind. They're going to decide to skip the halftime. I'm glad they did. So we're going to resume immediately to action here. As, like I said, the Huskies, they're going to get the ball back. Or they're going to get the ball for the second half. So this drive matters the most. It, did, it didn't really matter. That they scored in the uh that last drive but if they don't score here it will definitely change the game a lot so hopefully they can score here and if not i really don't know what's this leak all right bro wait no okay wavy why do you have to troll like that i really hope that's not you wavy a matter of fact wait why do you have like five twitch accounts I kind of wonder that you have like five tw Twitch accounts for no reason. As Miles is going to go for the kickoff return. He'll be down at the 25. Oh, uh, yeah, it is uh, CTC. Yup, <laughs> yeah, Wavy. This is definitely CTC. Oh, yeah, that issue. The refs ran the time. As now, this will be first and 10 again for the Huskies. And Miles is going to go for the run. And once again, that will be only a four-yard gain. And now it will be second and seven here for the Huskies. As we wait once again for them to stop the ball. Second and seven. Miles is going to roll back. Still looking for someone. Going to throw it here. And that will be a catch here by Danny again. And Danny. He's going to be down once again at the 38 yard line. And now the Huskies have a chance to score again. What a play there. By Danny getting, I think that was like his six or seven catches game, but I'm really not too sure. As now it will be first and ten here.
All right. First and ten. Gonna roll to the right here. And that will be another sack or attack for loss for the Huskies. Good job there by Quan, though. I'm not too sure why Miles just didn't um, go for the run there. Yeah, I know, Wavy. I don't know why. A lot of refs forget to reset their timeouts. It's kind of just a normal thing, but I think everyone knows that they have three timeouts here. As now, Miles in the road to the left. And oh, yeah, thank you, by the way, Quan, though, for following me earlier. I didn't notice it. My apologies. And thank you, Adis, for redeeming that. I'll make sure to stretch a little bit later. It's now Miles will throw it here. Oh, that was almost a touchdown. It's now it will be third and 12 here instead. A close call there for the Huskies, but not too sure what happened there. It's now third and 12 here. This is definitely a very crucial first down. I mean, if they really want to. They can go for the, um, what is it called? They could go for the field goal if they want. What do you mean your, my screen went small? My screen looks perfectly, uh, fine. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why you're trolling, um, Wavy. If anyone is, if anyone's screen went small, it's yours. Because your stream quality is not the best, but. Miles, in pressure again. Has a wide open receiver, decides to throw it to Danny. I don't know why he didn't give it there to the wide open receiver right in front of him. But I mean, to be fair, both of them were wide open. So I guess he just went for the one for the touchdown. But I don't know what he was thinking there. As Spinner was wide open in front of him. As now, this will be the most crucial drive here and play for both teams. This fourth down can change the whole game. As no one is open at all. Miles is still looking for someone. He throws it here to Danny. And Danny will get the first down. And more. And he'll finally get down a 21 yard gain. That was almost a close call there. Could have been a good chance for the Destroyers to gain their momentum back. But instead, it's going to be our first down. And once again, the Huskies have another chance to score. And Wavy, you don't stream at on at 1080. I feel like you stream more at like 720 or 460. I highly doubt you stream at 1080. I don't think you do. As now, shout out to Harry there. Miles is gonna go for the outrun. Wait, how was that not? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Wait, how was that not? Okay, that's actually kind of weird. How was that not a tackle for loss? Uh, I think he might be hacking. Um, I don't know, but... I mean, hey, if you want to clip that, go ahead, but... <laughs> I do not know how that was not a, um... A tackle for loss. Um... That's kind of weird. But anyways, Miles, gonna roll back. Still looking for someone. Throws it here. And the touchdown for Spinner. So, despite that very weird play that just happened a minute ago, the Huskies still managed to score here, which is a good thing for them, I guess. But I'm very surprised that was not a tackle for loss. But I think it didn't really even matter because they still scored anyways. As this PAT will be good. So, now it will be 34-27. to 27. But yeah, a very, very weird, um, pretty weird, uh, play there. Don't know what just happened, but, I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. As now, we wait for the Destroyers, or the Huskies, to kick out the ball. And the Shurs will get the ball back here. As this will be Kai, the one returning it. Actually, no, not my... Oh, yeah, I don't even know what I just said. But Resparkle will be the one returning it. I wasn't even looking at my screen, but... Sparkled return every kick off this game. Not really surprising that he's doing it again. As he will be down at the 24-yard line. So, two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. So... I mean, this might, like I said, this might be the last drive of the third quarter unless 
the Destroyers let up an interception or uh, they score in like a play. But, I mean, it's a little bit, I mean, still a decent amount of time left. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. As Resparkled is going to roll back. No pressure at all. Good good blocking here by g He's going to throw a bomb here and that will be heavily overthrown. I don't know if you could say that's grounding, but... Um, yeah, that would be overthrown, and no one would have gotten that. It's not a sack because of his accessory. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that is true. Look, he is wearing... I don't know. I think that is a... I think that's just fire that's green. It's just a particle, I guess. But you could say that accessory might have affected it a little bit. I feel like he was a little bit farther than expected. Maybe that, that green fire just gave it the illusion that he was touching him. It's a weird way to say it, but... He was touching him, and um, maybe maybe it just looked like it, but he was nowhere as close. That's, that will be a good jam there by the Huskies. And now it will be 3rd and 10 here for the Destroyers. So yeah, good job there by the Huskies as they just need two more stops. And they get the turnover turnovers on downs, and they could possibly change this game here. But you never know, maybe Resparkled could get a first down here as it is not that far to get a first down. As Resparkled is going to roll to the right. No one open quite yet. And said, there, actually there is Sarge. And now this will be a chase and he'll finally get down. Good job there and that will be a 42 yard gain. So instead of that, the Huskies taking advantage of it. Instead, that will be a first down once again for the Destroyers. And... Now they're on the Husky side of the field. So good job by them. And once again, first and 10 here for Sparkled. Oh, that should be a lag boarding on Miles. And it will be. And that will be a first down and a run. And now that will be a 31 yard gain. Andrew, turn off your voice. Change your voice isn't like this. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Does my voice sound deeper than normal or. Um. Do I sound even more squeakier or sound more gay? Because a lot of people say my voice is gay, but if I do sound a little bit deeper, it's because before this stream, I did take a nap, because I and I, I am still very tired, so that may be why my voice is a little bit deeper. As Danny or your Sparkle is going to throw it here for the touchdown! And once again, the Destroyers, they score, and this is a one-point game. Like it's always been this whole game. As now the Destroyers, they have a chance to tie this game up once again. As this PT will be good. So now it will be 34 to 34. So good job there for Danny for answering up, answering back pretty quickly and getting the touchdown. And I'm pretty sure that's Warriors like third or fourth touchdown of the game. As now, it will be 34 to 34. So, not bad here for both teams, obviously. Definitely not bad. As now, the Huskies, they have a chance once again to tie this game. Well, or actually not tie it, take the lead. As there will be a minute and 43 remaining. As this is going to be a pretty big question here for the Huskies. Do you want to take the ball into the fourth quarter and waste the rest of the third? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, when it hits a fourth quarter... I have no doubt that they're just going to waste the clock, but it really this, it's really up to Miles. I mean, there is still a minute and 43 remaining, so there's still a, a good amount of time left on the clock, but you never know as first and 10. Going to wait here for Miles to stop the ball as we wait here. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I think they're just setting up. And I think he's going to stop it now. And he does. And Miles. Going to roll back. Going to fake the misplay. And now he actually takes it. Going to get the first down. And he's going to. Oh yeah. He's going to get the first down that time. I was going to say he's going to take the run. But he gets the first down there anyways. And the 16 yard gain. It's now a minute and 28 remaining here. He might try to waste his clock. You never know. But first and 10. For Miles and the Huskies at the 34-yard line. Miles is going to roll back. Still looking for someone. 
And also that's pretty a pretty good amount of time here as I'll be heavily overthrown and now I'll be second and ten. But good job there by Harry for um getting for having good blocking there. As now it will be second and ten here for the Huskies. But yeah, I really... Wait, V, can you please let me know? Does my voice sound deeper than normal? Because I'm not going to lie. I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, do I sound more squeakier? Do I sound deeper? Or... Yeah, let me know. But Miles, going to roll back again. Almost a sack there. Warrior was right there. But good job there by Monster uh, recovering. As I'll be heavily overthrown. Once again, that's back-to-back -back overthrown passes. Follow me, you're a Chad. Okay, I'll follow you uh, later, Nate, if you're talking to me, but... And, yeah, you're not uh, wrong, San, or San. I think that's how you say it. I mean, I don't have a problem with Wavy Sprite, but... Wavy Sprite, he has an ego because he won OFN of the Year in fucking OCFA. Like, any any award matters in that league. I'm just playing about that, but... Yeah, he won OFN of the Year in OCFA, and now he thinks he's, like, the best streamer. Or he thinks he's better than me, so I don't know, but... Miles is going to go for the mid-run. And he'll finally get a 5-yard gain. I know, Wavy. I can't I can't discredit you on that. But I'm not going to lie. Don't call... I, I I mean, to be honest, me personally, I don't think you're a better streamer than me. Maybe other people find, find you better. Maybe because of my voice and how I sound really young and have a really squeaky voice to them. But, I mean, to be honest, I don't think you're a better streamer than me. No offense, though. As Miles... Gonna roll back. Gonna throw it here. Oh, wait. Whoa. What just happened there? I do not know how that was not in it. a catch. But hey, I mean, the Destroyers, they get the interception. So both teams have, has gotten an interception tonight. But that might also be an incomplete pass. I feel like that might be. That is the second time that a pretty odd play has happened here. So as you can see there, he's nowhere near the um he's nowhere near the ball and the ball is already touching the ground from that angle. So I really don't know. That might be a mag. Don't know as anything could really happen. Once again, this is the the second odd play that has happened. The dude is in the air and the ball is on the ground. And even that, even that doesn't help him. As now the ball is all the literally 10 yards away from him and he somehow grabs the ball. I really don't know. That might be uh incomplete, but instead I guess they're gonna call it an interception. That's kinda weird, but I guess so. As Danny is gonna roll to the right. Gonna be lagging a good amount, but instead he'll escape the pressure, gonna throw it here, and that'll be a tab it overthrown. Bro, Kanzu, do not talk to me like that. I know it's delay, but... I know it's delay, but it doesn't... I've never seen a delay that bad. And watch, watch who you're talking to, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways... Second and ten here. For the Destroyers. But a good interception there. I'll give it a uh, props to whoever got at that. Could not see his name as Danny. He's lagging again. Lagging pretty heavily, but... I mean, I guess it's not a lag warning. As that will be a comeback route... By Brazil, and I think he's the one that got the interception. And thank you, Penley, for redeeming that. Thanks for letting me drink some water. And yeah, that might look like a mag, but it isn't a, a mag. It's just something called delay. But good call by the ref, I guess. As now, Danny lagging mid-air now. <laughs> he's lagging like hell right now. I don't know if it's just me or if it's... The uh, whole server. As he has a wide open receiver. And he'll get the touchdown. And that will be LV. Getting the touchdown. And the, uh, the Shores. They take their lead back once again. So good job there for getting an interception. And also. um, Scoring there. It's, this will now be a 6 point game. So. Not bad. By, not bad here by the Shores. As. So be. The PAT is good. So we are going to head. Into the. Um fourth quarter with uh what is it called only a seven point game 
And let me renounce the stream. Huskies being down forty one. All right, so that this will definitely sorry for that, but this will definitely be no doubt. Hey, never mind, my neon sign shot. But this will definitely be a very very important five minutes here, the last five minutes here for the Huskies and the Destroyers battling to go into the divisional round and maybe advance their run to the victory bowl. But they still have a pretty good long way until that happens. But the last four minutes here for Harry, or actually no, yeah, Miles and the Huskies, and also for he sparkled and the Destroyers as Miles is going to start here with the run and the first down and the 13-yard gain. And bro, I don't know why, bro, why does Ruins me do that, bro? Like, why does he have to do that? It's a fucking fiend. Ruin, ruins me, if you're seeing this, you're a bitch. Fuck you. Anyways, I'm just playing about that, but... Miles is gonna roll to the right. Still looking for someone throws it here. And that will be overthrown. Yeah, you're not wrong, Snot. Like, bro, like, bro Ruins me trying to steal my fucking viewers. Like, bro. I hope, I hope ruins ruins me sees this shit. Fuck you. And I know how I know how ruins me looks like, so it doesn't help him any better. But anyways, Mao's gonna roll to the right. Still looking for someone throws it here, and that'll be a catch by Flame. And that'll be a 34 yard gain. San is the ops too. I mean, I don't think San is the ops. Hey. And yeah, X, uh, XB, I'm not wrong. I mean, you've never seen me curse on stream because I like to keep it as uh, family friendly. But I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Ruins me is getting me tight. So I don't know why he keeps on doing that. Bro is fiending for it. Like, I don't know. He probably, but whoever is streaming that POV, he probably paid Ruins me to post a link. Because bro is fiending to seal my views, bro. Anyways. Miles is going to go for the throw. That will be intercepted. And that might just be the game. Oh my goodness. That might have just been the game. I do not know what Miles was doing there. Andrew, I think you are Nick 32.0. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I might be. But I do curse a little. Um, I do curse a little time by time. I'm not going to lie. And Redline, I have no problem with ruins me, but he all he's trying to steal my viewers. Like I know this may sound pretty weird for me, but I'm not gonna lie, I need the viewers for the playoffs. I spent all this time making all these graphics and stuff. I'm not about to spend all my time doing this for Roblox football just for another dude to steal all my viewers and fiend over it. So I don't have any problems with ruins me. I don't hate him personally, but I am kinda pissed off on why he's doing that. Like a fucking fiend, but I mean it is what it is. I have the most respect for him, but I'll probably just talk to him after stream. Hopefully he doesn't press me as well, but still. As now the Huskies, they have the last chance here. Maybe they could get a stop here. I really don't know. Maybe not, but uh, Resparko is going to roll back. Might have a wide open receiver, and he does. And that will be a catch by Sarge. And that will be a pretty big gain as I might just steal the game as now the Destroyers, they have a chance to score once again. And they are at the 22-yard line of the uh, Destroyers side. I'm going to report to you if you start swearing. It's really weird. Okay, I'll stop. I don't blame you. I apologize for your cursing because, I, like I said, I rarely do cur uh, curse on stream. I barely do. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's not it's kind of rare for me to curse. But I mean, hey, I'm not Nick 830. Uh, maybe, you never know. Maybe I'll sh a curse a little bit more, but I have no point to do it when I'm streaming. As he sparkled, it's going to roll back. Nobody open quite yet. Good blocking here so far by the Destroyers. Has all the time to do anything, as that will be 
Oh, a catch and the touchdown for the Destroyers. And now they take the two possession lead. Yeah, I know, son. I I'm admitted. I'm actually getting tired, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've been sitting here pissed the fuck off this whole game. Because I see... I mean, I have no problem with the dude POV streaming. Because, I mean... Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't blame him. I would POV stream if I was playing in the playoffs too. But it pisses me off a little that he's uh, stealing my viewers. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's Roblox football. And it is the uh, wild card. If this was, like, the conference championship, I'd probably be uh, fuming right now. But, I mean... The game is basically over, or more than likely over, and not only that, it's just a wild card like I said, so. I still am able to stream another game, and I'll probably stream other wild card games if I have to, but it's just a little bit, I guess, irritated. It's a, Yeah, I'm kind of irritated on why uh, that's happening, but. Just tell me you're gonna... <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> All right, you know, I don't have to say all of that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I don't have to say all of that, to be honest with you. As Miles is going to roll back here. The last chance here for the Huskies. This game changed pretty uh, quickly, as this was just tied heading to the fourth quarter. As that will be another interception for Miles, and that might just be the game. I'm not going to lie. They might as well just forfeit. I don't even know why they waste their time for this. I really don't know. But, oh, yeah. And what's up, Chara? How are the Toros doing? Are you guys ready for the playoffs? As you guys are playing the Vikings. So, you have a pretty difficult matchup. But, you still have a pretty good team in you, uh, MMK, and all that other. Uh, I think, uh, same with uh, Sean HEX. All right, Char. There's no reason to press me, bro. That's why you're on the. That's why you're the number eight seed, and you're on the fucking Toros. You're not passing the first round, buddy. You might as well not even show up to your own game because you're not winning. But anyways, uh, Rispar is gonna go for the mid run. He'll get the nine yard gain. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. I'm still a benchy, but I mean, hey, at least I'm on the Turks. We're the, we're the second best team in the West. In my eyes, we're the best in the West. But, I mean, hey, just standings-wise. And yeah, you're damn right, I bench. Well, I am the ninth man, but still. You're, okay. Sure, I'm not, I don't even do bad in my games. The only bad game I had was, like, in my rookie season against the Spartans. Other than that, I've been doing good every single game. So, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to say. I even, I even got, what is it called, a 100-yard touchdown. So, I mean, I don't think, I think I'm doing fine. But for you, Chara, like I said, I always respect you because you are the one that trained me. And no, I did not switch up on you. You just pressed me now for no reason. But maybe next year you can slide to the Turks with us and hopefully win a VB with us. But said you decided to go to the Toros, so. I can beat you drunk. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because you're a grown-ass man. You're like, what, 20 years old? Of course you're going to beat me up. Especially because I'm like 5'7", so I'm pretty short. And yeah, I guess you could say I am XV, but... As I'll be a sack there by Flame Park. And I'll be a tackle for loss. And I'll also be a timeout by Miles. Actually, you know, never mind. He decides not to call it. Chara is 23. Okay, wait. Yeah, wait. I was about to say, that is underage drinking, so. Chara, you might want to be careful, buddy, because you may have some snitches in this uh, stream, so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but. Respargold's going to roll to the left. Going to throw it here. and That'll be a catch. And the first down by LV, and that might have just secured it. So, the Destroyers, they're going to advance to the second round. The second team to do so. Pulling off, I could, I guess you could say the upset, because they are the seventh seed. But, every single team in the playoffs, I think, in the East are 6-2. and two, So, they're pretty good. I mean, like I said, anyone can win it from the first to the eighth seed. But, I guess you could call this an upset, as 
This game was tied heading into the se uh, fourth quarter. And then for some reason, Miles decided to throw like two interceptions in a row. So this might be the end of the Huskies here unless they get a miracle stop here. As at the moment, the uh, the Shores are just trying to advance their score. As that will be just a tad bit overthrown. You don't know my location, go ahead and report it. Exactly, that's what I said. I, I never said I was going to report on you. And even if I didn't know where you lived, I wasn't going to report it on you. Like, I'm not that dumb. I'm not I'm not a snitch. I mean, there might, like I said, there might be some snitches here. So you might want to be careful. That's not saying that I am. There might be some, but and let's see here. I've been underage drinking. Try to watch your lips when you talk to Andrew. Well, Phil, that's good for you, but me personally, I don't, I don't do any drinking. As <laughs> okay, and thank you, uh, XV, for redeeming those. I really do appreciate it. As now we're just heading into the final minute of this game. Maybe the Huskies could get a stop here. I'm not too sure, but you never know, just quite yet. I don't care if they snitch; nothing's gonna happen. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Char. Let's just say someone did snitch and it actually, like, got to the police. I feel like the most you're getting is a warning or a misdemeanor. I don't feel like you're gonna get any jail time. And if you do get arrested, you're probably gonna get released an hour later on bail. So, I feel like, yeah, nothing... I don't think anything will be happening. But, I don't know where... I don't know how the state of Louisiana does it. Um... I don't know. Maybe I think you do live in Louisiana. I'm not too sure, but yeah, we. I, I really don't know, but I feel like nothing's really gonna happen. Oh, you, you got drunk on Malibu, uh, Malibu yesterday. Well, that's good for you, Phil. I mean, at least, at least you're having fun. And thank you, Jay, and Star for the follows. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> Andrew, tell Char to shut up. I'm good, bro. I mean, I, I already did, but you can tell him yourself. And I'm not gonna lie, Char does. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Char did made me or make me. So he did develop me or teach me how to play DE. So I guess you could say he made me. But at the same time, he should not be pressing me, like, pressing me like this because there's no reason to. Well, I don't know if he lives in Louisiana, XP. I think he does because I think he told me before that he did. I'm not too sure though. As now, this will be another first down, and this will be Max uh, quarterbacking here. As now, this will just be victory formation here for the Destroyers. And I mean, this is, has been a pretty good season here by the Huskies. Miles did have a pretty good regular season. This team went 6-2, and two, and they definitely are very good. Hopefully, they have a better season heading into Season 34. I wish the best of luck to everyone, especially Harry Christopher. My longtime supporter, so best of luck to him next season. Andrew, what's your thoughts on getting DFO? Well, I'm very happy. Um for I'm very thankful as well for USA Jaguars for giving me the job. And I'm glad that I'm a DFO for the Rams. Because the Rams are pretty good. I like that. I like their team. And they're a pretty good team history wise, so I will bring a lot of stuff to their team. So, I mean, I already have a lot of stuff planned. But you'll just have to see until it gets released out to the public. As that will be a catch there by Quan, though. And the first down. And that will officially seal it. So, the Shores are going to win. Advance to the divisional round. I'm not too sure who they're going to play, though. I think they're going to... I mean, they are the number two seed. So, I think they're going to play the lowest seed left. Or... It depends on if the number one seed Panthers win. <laughs> Your biggest off is a treadmill. No, nah, that is crazy, XV. I would not take that. And I'm not gonna lie. What's your thoughts on Wavy getting hired at DFO? Like I told you, Wavy, I feel like you will. I feel like you're good enough to get the job, but I don't think anyone is gonna hire you. Mainly because you have no experience. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I did have to help you with your application, so that's kind of. I mean, that kind of just proves that you need like at least some type of assistance. But like I said, you're an upcoming streamer. 
if you decide to stream OFL and actually like build a name for yourself, it will definitely help you a lot. So, um, I definitely advise you to stream OFL, go one or two seasons streaming the playoffs and be considered mid and then have like one breakout season streaming wise and then, then you'll be respected. But other than that, I mean, best of luck to you, AV. I definitely do believe in you because I mean, you can make Photoshop work and stuff, so. I already got hired. Who the fuck hired you? I want. <laughs> Who hired you? Okay, well, that's good for you. You're not touching DFO unless you're a media nerd. Yeah, you're not wrong, Char. A lot of the DFOs are just there for media, anyways, so I mean. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know. But. Yeah, that is true. I lost my old full team coaches, bro. That's very unfortunate for you, Snod. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for that to happen. Hopefully you can get it back, but... As we wait, hopefully this game just ends. I wonder why they're not forfeiting, but... I guess they're just gonna have the final play here. This might just be a toss-up, by the looks of it. As I just want to go back to bed, as that will be a, a DBLOS. And a flag. And that will be... A touchdown by Wari, but there is a flag, so... Uh, they're just gonna accept it. So yeah, they are gonna accept. <laughs> so they're gonna get pushed back even more. But yeah, this was a pretty good, fun game. I mean, like I said, I am kinda irritated that my viewers got stolen. But I mean, hey. Props to Max, and congrats to him for winning this game. Hopefully he has a good game in the divisional round as well. But other than that, congrats to the Destroyers. Advancing to the divisional round. And hopefully maybe next season the Huskies have a better chance. But other than that, that will be a sack. And now it will be 4th and 69. So... Or actually, no, that will be a TOD. Wait, hold up. Oh, wait. This might be a chance here for the Huskies. If the Huskies get a touchdown, get the onside... They could send this into overtime, so... This game is not over quite yet. You never know. Um... <laughs> oh no, this might be a... We might be seeing a miracle here, but I highly doubt it. I mean, I feel like the Huskies will score here, but... I don't think they're gonna get a onside kick. I don't think they will, but... Okay, so I guess we sparkled is ejected on the defense side or defensive side, so This is a pretty good chance here for Miles to redeem himself and make this game a little bit closer as it is pretty much impossible to get an onside kick this year. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> 34 to 48 the last chance here Miles is gonna roll back Still looking for someone. Gonna throw it here. And that'll be a touchdown. So now this will only be an eight-point game. So this might be a miracle comeback here by the Huskies. But I, like I said, I highly doubt they're gonna get an onside kick. I highly doubt they are. But, I mean, you never know. As that PAT will be good. So it will be 41 to 48 with 8 seconds remaining. The onside kick is called. Are they going to pull off a miracle? 5 minutes ago, we thought that they were going to lose. And now, they have the chance to get a very un uh, unlikely onside kick here. I will be very surprised if the Huskies get the onside kick. All right, here we go. It is blown. Or actually, no, it's not blown. I feel like this is going to go out of bounds because, hey, like I said, no one knows how to kick an onside kick with this uh, new ball, which I kind of question why they changed it in the first place. But, um, and they have to do the ball again. As right, here we go. And this will be... 
Recovered by Brazilian. That will officially be the game. So, <laughs> a close call there for the uh, Destroyers. As now, this will be officially the ball game. Yeah, this will officially be the ball game and the Destroyers, they do dodge a bullet. So thankfully, the Destroyers will finally secure this game in advance to the second round. That was a very, very close call there. But, I mean, hey, I, I mean, at least they still won the game. I mean, I can't, me personally, I can't really complain if that's the case. But congrats to the Destroyers, like I said, and good luck to them for the rest of the season. And once again, props to the uh, Huskies for having an amazing season. Much love to all of the Huskies. And definitely a shout out to Harry Christopher. As he did, definitely did have also a good season. But first and 20. Going to be a run here. That will be a tackle for a loss. So the clock does stop. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Because, I mean, there is no timeouts left. And... Um, there is seven seconds, so <laughs> unless a miracle interception happens here, like I said, the run, and that will just end the game. And that will officially end it. 48 to 41. Good game. As now the destroyers will advance to the second round. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Hopefully you guys have a good night. And this was a pretty good game. Have a good rest of your night, guys.